Hi everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Art Studio, fresh back from my lovely visit with the ladies in Dallas at the Quilters Guild of Dallas. It was wonderful. The show was of a, uh, a, a great time, hopefully had by all, and the workshop was fantastic. Had a lovely group of ladies. Um, and a couple of them were coloring and asked me, well, what happens if I color too dark? And this hummingbird, it's blown up for uh, demonstration purposes, but it was one of the animals that we did in our coloring session on Saturday. So I wanted to throw out a couple of tips to her as well as anybody else who may be watching as to how you can possibly go about lightening up a dark area such as what we see her on the wing. Now, I tend to like the lighter gray, um, but I deliberately went heavy handed with the gray to darken it up so that we could look and see how we might go about lightening dark, dark colors, particularly your blues, your greens, possibly your reds. Um, but I know that at least this, this, what I'm going to show you works best with kind of more of your uh, bluish tones um, rather than maybe your warm tones, your cool tones versus your warm tones. So the very first thing I'm gonna show you is using what I call uh, affectionately the boo-boo pen. It's nothing more than just a white jelly roll pen with white ink. And I'm gonna come in here, zoom in here real quick and show you what I've kind of already started, which is putting just some dashes of white ink and immediately rubbing my finger over it to hopefully try to blend in. You could also try to use the uh, paintbrush, but I'll tell you something, by the time you pick the paintbrush up and you go to rub it over the um, gel pen, it'll be dry. So you're going to get some streak marks, but if you if you did it enough, I think, here, let me get this over. If you did it enough, obviously, and, and again, rubbing your finger over it quite quickly, you know, you, you might be able to lighten it up to your satisfaction. Um, that's a real, oh my God, look what I've done type of thing. And it's more or less a Band-Aid, but there is a probably an easier way. And that is to take some Jacquard textile paint or Americana or So Soft, um, whatever you can find that is actually um, for fabrics. Now this is a translucent textile color. It is not opaque. If you try to put this on, what you'll do is you'll completely cover your, your, your color that you want to lighten rather than just uh, lighten it up. So I've put a little bit of the uh, white translucent fabric paint in here, and I'm just going to get ooh, ever so much on here. I want to do this with a very light hand and come over here and then start brushing this on. Uh, now, that's working. That's actually working. I, and, and But I would, at this time, I would probably go ahead and dip my brush into a little bit of fabric medium, again, going very light, and then going over that. And, and see, you will get actually quite a bit more white uh, and lighten up. Now, this is tricky, ladies. I'm, I'm, or to anybody else who's watching, excuse me, gentlemen. Um, this is something you have to be so, so delicate with because the problem can be is that you end up muddying your color. But if you're really desperate and you really want to light something up, I think the textile uh, method with a little bit of fabric medium and boy, when I say little, I mean little. I, I would say just a touch of the paint on the tips of your of your brush, just like like here. Let me try to do this so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Um, can you even see that? I, I it's even hard for me to see that. Um, but there's just an absolute itty bitty teeny tiny bit of white on there, and then start brushing it on. Well, maybe I didn't even get any on here. So something like, there we go, there we go, that's good. And you start brushing it on. And then take your fabric medium and go over it. So, and, and just kind of work that color, that white back and forth over the area that you wanna highlight. Very, 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 very sparingly because you, the problem is, you know, you may be, making it worse rather than better. I mean, 
that's certainly better as far as the gray. Now, it's not as light as this. Personally, I don't think I could match this, but I'm certainly happier to put a little bit of that white to lighten it up as opposed to leaving it completely charcoal dark uh, like it originally was. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions uh, or comments, you can leave them below in the comment section below this video. Uh, you can also contact me at medinadomarts at aol.com. Thanks for watching.